So why am I in the kitchen with a big tub of water? Because I'm going to test out a new retrobrighting method. So a bit of background on this before I start. What I want to do is use liquid hydrogen peroxide and a little heat to retrobrite yellow computer parts. What I need to do this is a little heater for the water to make it warm enough to facilitate the retrobite, but cold enough so that it doesn't melt ABS plastic. So I need it lower than 60 degrees C. Uh, and I'd like it to be reasonably easy and cheap to do. So the 8-bit guy showed this could be done in 2017. He used an electric cooker, which had a melt feature on the hob to heat the water up to about 70 degrees C. And this did work, but if I want to do that, I'm not going to replace my cooker just to retrobite a computer. RMC The Cave also did something similar. He used a, something called a sous vide machine. I've never even heard of that before, which is some kind of cooking appliance that heats and stirs the water at the same time in a cooking pot. That also worked. Uh, but when I looked at those, the, they're around about £200 each in the UK, so I didn't think that would be the kind of money I want to spend just to retrobrite a computer. So what I'm going to do here is just try and find a way of doing that, but just easier and cheaper, hopefully, using this aquarium heater. It's an aquarium heater, which can apparently heat up the water to a maximum of 34 degrees. I think because above that, you fish will die. So my plan is, is just to test this out right now and just to see that this will correctly heat the water. This thing had got some quite good reviews on Amazon and also some bad ones where like, my fish died, the heating rod melted and stuff like that. It's also got this explosion proof quartz tube. Proof quartz is one word for some reason, um, which doesn't bode well. Yeah, so this is like a 100 watt heater and it can heat like quite a large amount of water, w uh, way more than will fit in here. So I've got the thermometer set up over here uh, just to check that this thing does actually heat up. It's got a thermometer on it, but I just want to double check it with the one on here. So it's saying it's 17.8 degrees. It seems about right. This has been sitting here for a little while. It's probably about room temperature. I'm just going to test heat this bowl of water. So it's got like this little control unit and this is the heating rod. It's quite large. Uh, it would have been nice to do something smaller, but this is designed to heat an aquarium. So we'll see about that. Oh, I think that's the, these are little suckers to stick it to the bottom. There were some reviews on Amazon where people had shown this and, it, and the plastic outer casing had just completely melted. So I don't know if they'd taken it out and just turned it on without it in the water. Yeah, water temperature, set temperature, that's all it's really got on it and it tells you whether it's heating. I think that's, that's supposed to go outside the aquarium, this goes in the water. This product is limited to indoor aquariums, which is for ornamental fish specially. Do not use it with it in other chemical liquid, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Do not strike the heating tube, okay. If the product is abnormal, please stop using it immediately. So these are the little suckers that are used to attach it to the fish tank, or in my case, a plastic tub. Right, there we go. I'll stick it, like, if I'm gonna retrobrite something, it's probably gonna to have to go at the edge, so I'll stick it, I'll stick it to this outside edge here. Oh yeah, that, that sticks down really well. Excellent. And then this thing just sits outside. Oh, it's bleeping. What have we got? Water temperature 21. That doesn't match with what I've got on there. Yeah, so that doesn't match up. It's saying it's 20 and the EV bug meter. Oh, it's saying LL. What does that mean? LL. Is that to tell you your fish might die because the water temperature is too low? It's got codes in here, I think. It says LL means water temperature is below 20 degrees C. So that's kind of a warning, I think, to say, don't put your fish in here because they'll die, it's too cold. The EV blog meter is saying it's 17.7. So how do I get it to go higher? Oh, there we go. So it's just got one button to change the temperature. So let's go up to the full 34. And now I suppose we just sit back and watch and see what happens and see if this thing can heat the water up. So yeah, it's still saying it's too low. I don't know how long it's been in, a couple of minutes. But it's nice it's got an alarm telling you your fish are gonna die. Oh, I think actually this thermometer is not in the water. Now it's in the water, it's actually 16. So this isn't gonna tell me the temperature until the water gets over 20. So that's a bit annoying. And I assume it's gonna try and heat the water slowly uh, because you don't wanna kill the fish. But um, I really wanted a heater that could go up to about, you know, say 50, 40, 50. Uh, but I couldn't really find one that was like, compact enough and easy enough and cheap enough. This thing was just like 20 pounds or something. I'll, I'll, I'll link it in, but it's not very expensive. It's quite easy to use and it only goes up to 34, but that, that should be enough to like, if I want to retrobrite something in here, 
to just to get some kind of temperature change up to 34. I mean, it'll probably double the temperature of the water from what it is. So that should be pretty good. I could use the UV light as well. But the test here is just to check that this thing even works at all. So the other meter is saying no change. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now and I'll come back in a bit and uh, we'll see what has happened. Right, so it's been 15 minutes and the EV blog thermometer is saying 20 degrees for the water. The heater here, that thinks it's not 20 degrees yet, but EV blog says it is. Yeah, this is definitely warming up. It feels a lot warmer here than it does at the edges. And that's just because there's no circulation of this water other than convection, I suppose. Something's happening there. I suppose this is by design that the, the microcontroller in here is uh, is just heating the water up slowly so it doesn't kill your fish. It feels like if you did put a computer case in here to retrobrite it, this thing here, I can't actually touch it. It doesn't feel warm at all. So if, it, if the case did actually touch this thing, it wouldn't really get damaged. I think you can, I think the heating element in there is the one that's actually hot. So this thing's like shrouding it so the fish won't touch it. But that's quite good because it means that also my computer case won't touch it either. Pretty much confirmed by the multimeter, which is saying 21. It's quite close. I don't think this is lying. I think that's probably about right. Um, but yeah, 15 minutes to get up to 20 degrees from, was it about 16 degrees? So it, it's gonna heat very, very slowly. It does feel cold. So I'll come back after like 20 minutes or so. The, one of the problems with this is it maybe it will take like an hour to get up to temperature or more, who knows? And the other problem is, is that because th this thing's quite large, if I want to retrobrite something small, like the keys from the A1200, which is my next plan, I don't really want this whole vat of water. So I'll probably just put a smaller tub in the middle with some hydrogen peroxide in it and put the keys in that. That's my plan anyway for, for this. Uh, but if I want to do a full computer case, this will work too. So it's only been five minutes and the, the water's still only at 21. So my thinking is, uh, if I'm going to do this, or I'm actually going to use it, this is going to take a merry age to actually heat up, which is fine for the fish, but it's not good for me because if you want to retrobrite something, you don't want to wait two hours for this to heat up. Uh, why don't I just preheat the water with, you know, just by putting a bit of boiling water in, uh, which I could do if I was retrobriting, just get it up to the 34, and then let's just check to see if this thing can hold it there. And then I don't have to wait an hour for this thing to heat up. So let me just boil a bit of water and we'll try and get this temperature up to around 34. So let's get ourselves up to this 34 and then let's see if it can just hold it there. So now I've got a few hundred mils of boiling water. Um, this thing went up to 22 while it was in there. Just gonna put a little bit of this in. Let's see how much we need. Not too much. Let's just see how that does. That's not gonna do much, is it? Well, you see this is saying 24, nearly 25. So I didn't put much water in there. It went up by a few degrees. Let's just try a bit more. Give it a bit of a stir around. Yeah, you can feel it's definitely cold around the edge. Yeah, you see, so this meat is changing, but this one hasn't actually. This one's saying 22 still, but it's keeping the heater on. So let's give it a bit more. We need to go up by 10 degrees. So we need a lot more than that. Yeah, so we're up to 28 on there. See, that's interesting, that's going up, <laughs> but this thing still reckons it's 22. How's it figured that? That's not a good sign for the fish, really, if your water's gone to 28, but actually it's 22. I mean, maybe it's 22 round the heating element. Maybe this water's just not stirred up enough. Might just put the rest of this hot water in, see if that's enough. There we go. Oh, it's saying 23 now, it's just changed to 23. So yeah, it's coming up to 30 on there. This thing only says 23 though. That's odd. It's very slow, the sensitivity on that. Let me boil some more water. I think this does go to show though that you probably need a separate thermometer and don't trust this one if you're gonna do this. Just so you can keep an eye on the proper temperature because this is responding very slowly there. Right, here we go, let's put a bit more in. So we're up at 28 degrees on there at the moment. Let's just get a bit more boiling water in there. Oh, that might, over, that might have overdone it, I'm not sure. Oh, that feels warm now, it's like a swimming pool. Up at 32, this thing's on 27. So yeah, I think that's the secret. We need to just preheat the water because we're gonna be here for a month. Let's just go for loads more. 
So that's pretty much all that water just went in there, just boiled. Okay, so we overcooked it there a bit. I mean, we're not, we don't mind because we haven't got fish in this, but that's probably going to go down a bit as the water just circulates a bit. This thing still thinks it's 28 and it's going to keep the heater on. Oh yeah, creeping up. 29 now. Oh, that feels nice and toasty now. It feels nice and warm on my hand. God, can fish really live in this water this warm? So I'll turn the camera off now and then I'll just come back in a bit and we'll see if this thing has, has thinks it's got to 34 and can maintain the 34. So it's been about 10 minutes and this thing is just kind of holding steady at basically its max temperature now. And this water does feel, ooh, nice and toasty. That does feel really nice. It feels nice and warm. That's great. That's been pretty much confirmed by the multimeter, which is saying about 33 as well. I don't think it's actually turned the heater off yet. It's constantly heating. I assume at some point here, it's going to have to turn that heater off because it doesn't want the temperature to go higher than that. I suppose if I covered this tank over, it would keep its heat in a bit nicer. In fact, I can do that now. So yeah, I could actually cover that up as well. So hopefully that would keep some of the heat in if I wanted to do that. You can see all the condensation appearing on this already. So I think this thing is a winner. Um, I can use this to retrobrite. You can see already the steam appearing on there. I think that's the way to do it. If I want to retrobrite anything in liquid peroxide, then I can do it with this. I just need to know to preheat the water with some you know, boiled water or whatever, because this thing takes an age to get up to temperature, but once it's there, it could probably just hold it there quite, quite easily. So yeah, so in, a, in the next video, I'll probably try and retrobrite the keys and I'll do them with this method, I'll put this, say in the bath or something, I'll put the, I'll heat this water up, I'll put the keys either in a tub in here or in a bag or something, and then I can just let them, the hydrogen peroxide do its work on that. Or I could put a UV lamp over the top as well, if I wanted to, and have both, but that does feel quite nice. It's not super warm, it's not gonna damage anything, that won't damage any plastic. Holding its temperature at 33. It's funny how it's got that swimming pool smell as well, even though this is just water, it's got that chlorine smell that's in the, that's already in the tap water. So there it is. It's this video was just a giant tub of slightly warm water, but um, it's proving my point that I can use one of these to do some retrobriting and speed up the process by just heating the water a bit. So I'll link the I'll link in the description of all like what this is and how much it costs and everything. I bought this thing specifically because it's an all-in-one thermostat and the heater, and it's quite cheap, and it goes up to 34. So that just seemed to be the easiest way to get some heat into some water without going completely overboard. You could get, there was a company that made separate thermostats that you just plug something into and they would go higher. They were four aquariums, but you could use them for brewing and stuff as well. They would go higher, but you had to buy a separate thermostat. So this thing being all in one is actually quite convenient. I've picked this one as the one I'm gonna to use to just, you know, heat the water and keep it at temperature. So I'll be trying that on the keys from the A1200. I'll, I'll maybe put a little, uh, vat of water in here. I could put like a saucepan in there or something, put them in there, or I could put them in a bag. That'd be great. So that'll be in a future video. But this video, it's just a bowl of water.